One of the questions we get asked most regularly about is about task chairs. Task chairs are probably the piece of office furniture that's most directly related to your well-being because it's the thing that you're interacting with most and if you sit in an office all day every day over the course of the year you'll be sitting in that chair for 1,900 hours approximately a year. It's a lot of time to be sitting in a chair that's not comfortable for you. But task chairs come in all shapes and sizes and they also come in all price points as well. They really range from 60 pounds, such as this chair here, but they go right up to perhaps a thousand pounds if you're talking about a Herman Miller Aeron chair. This chair here is a really good ergonomic task chair and would cost you about 200 pounds. You pay a lot of money for a very expensive Herman Miller Aeron chair but a lot of that money is in the research and development that goes into that chair and also for the, the name, the Herman Miller name that goes with it. So we always think that the sweet spot, if you like, of task chairs is around about that 200, 200, 250 pound mark, where you're getting all the ergonomics that you need for a truly supportive task chair, but you're not necessarily paying for features that you don't use, and you're also not paying for a name badge. We bought the two chairs in for this presentation to show the difference between a £60 chair and a £200 chair, which are marked. First of all, you need to be looking at the features of a chair. What features does the chair have? And also, how do you set that chair up? Even the best ergonomic chair, if set up incorrectly, will be very uncomfortable for the user. A decent ergonomic task chair will be suitable for anybody up to 18 stone and it will be suitable for anybody between four foot 11 and six foot five. And again, quite regularly, we'll have questions from people who are perhaps six foot one, six foot two, saying, I need a special chair. You don't need a special chair, not if you set it up correctly. So we're gonna run through some of the features um, of these chairs and show you what the extra money is getting you and why, in our opinion, you should always invest in a chair up to that sweet spot of 200, 250 pounds if you can possibly afford it. If your budget will run to it, make that investment because it's an investment in your own health and your own well-being. It's also worth pointing out as well that this chair, this chair here that costs £60 will come with a one-year warranty. This chair at £200 will come with a five-year warranty. So if you work out your actual value of your chair and how much it's costing you to sit on each chair for every day you're going to have that chair, realistically a chair with a 12 month warranty won't break after 12 months, but it will probably break after 18 months. And a chair with a five year warranty won't break after five years, it will probably last you for a good seven. But even just taking, if you take it at warranty face value of a year against five years, the more expensive chair is costing you considerably less, in fact less than half the price of the the cheaper chair and for the entire lifespan of that chair you're sitting more supported more comfortable and of course you haven't got the time um, consideration in changing the chairs out also if you work in a big office building with lots of chairs you don't have to worry about chairs being discontinued um, when you go to change them a chair that's got a typical one year warranty on it you'll go back to buy some more the following year and they're not available anymore because again at that cheap end of the scale you won't have a continuity of supply guarantee. So many reasons why you should invest a little bit more in a better quality chair, but let's run through the features and the, and the benefits of those features of the two chairs. Firstly, and I think it's fairly apparent right from the off, is, is the thickness of the seat pad. The seat pad on a good chair, the foam is better. It's normally memory foam. The foam on a cheaper chair is considerably less supportive. Over time, that fight, just over 12 months, that foam will compress and be far less comfortable. The foam on a decent chair won't compress over the time that it's warranted for and provide you much better support. All chairs, whether they're cheap or expensive, will have a height adjustment on them. So the way you set up your chair is your, your legs should be at 90 degrees to the ground. If, you're, if, your legs are, if you've got a 90 degree bend in your legs and your knees, your chairs at the correct height. Both those chairs will do, both these chairs will do that. The cheap chair will also height adjust, but it doesn't do a great deal else. They've both got mesh backs. Mesh backs are better than 
upholstered backs because they allow more transfer of air, they're better breathable, they're more comfortable in the summer when it starts to warm up, but they also mold to the shape of your back as well. So a chair should mold to the shape of your back. And also this support, this is a higher back, so therefore it gives you more support around your shoulders. It also has a synchro mechanism on it as well. A lot of chairs are said to have synchro mechanisms. Most people don't know what that means. What it actually means is that as you recline on the chair and the chair goes backwards, the seat moves with it. So therefore you're not just bending your back and your, the rest of your body staying in one position. Your whole body is moving in synchronization and therefore it's much better ergonomically for, for your muscles um, and, your, and your skeleton to not be being bent out of an unnat into an unnatural position throughout the day. Armrests. Better chairs have height adjustable armrests. So again, if you're working on a computer, if you're working on a mouse all day, it's good that you're, you need your arms to be at the correct height. Um, it means that you can drop them down so that you can potentially move closer into your desk. Um, rather than having to work with your arms extended, which over time will start to cause you problems uh, in your hands and your wrists. Better chairs, such as this one, don't just uh, have height adjustable arms, but they also have depth adjustment and they also have width adjustment as well. So there's lots of, lots of um, adjustment on those arms to get you in exactly the right position. The cheaper chair, it has arms, but they're fixed arms. The reason why they come with such different warranties on them is to do as well, not just with the features, but also to do with the quality of the components. It's quite easy, even on a video demonstration, to show that this chair is extremely light and this chair is considerably heavier. And that's all to do with the quality of the components. If you turn this chair upside down, you can see there's just thin metal plate underneath, very little mechanism going on under that chair. On the ergonomic chair, you have this whole shroud in here. There's a lot of mechanism going in there, which gives you all of these extra adjustments. One of those extra mechanisms is the seat slide mechanism. The seat slide mechanism allows the seat to slide in and out, and that's an important adjustment for larger people. The small of your back should always be in contact with the back of the backrest. That seat slide enables you to move your seat position so that your back can maintain contact with the back, but also to give you just a, you should have a two to three inch gap between the edge of your legs and the edge of the seat. If the edge of the seat is pressing into the back of your knees, it restricts the blood flow, starts to cause you aches and pains down your calves and down the fronts of your legs. The less expensive chair, obviously no seat slide adjustment. Whilst the smaller your back should be in contact with the backrest, there's also a lumbar support on better chairs. So these small levers here are adjusted and it increases the tension across an area of the mesh back to just be supporting the very small of your back, which again, over extended use, very important to keep you comfortable and stop you getting aches and pains in the small of your back. Another point with a task chair is that most task chairs will either have a back that free floats, as this one is at the moment, but you can also lock them out as well. So that chair is now locked out and it won't go back. That can be quite comfortable in some positions, but really from an ergonomic perspective, your chair should float. You should, movement is good, whether you're standing up for some of the day or whether you're sitting down for most of it, the ability to be able to move with your chair is, is ergonomically very good for you and should be encouraged at all times. You should really only lock your chair out when you're doing specific tasks where that really does help you. Finally, looking at the bases, the casters of the chair, again, on a, on a decent chair, you can get casters that are suitable not just for a carpeted floor, but also for a hard floor. Cheap chairs don't have that option. If you're on a hard floor, you need to make sure that you ask for soft casters on a chair. They're rubberized. It means that it's easier to move around, but more importantly, they don't skid around when you don't want them to, which can be quite dangerous. They're also, you can see straight away between these two chairs, 
they're just wider, wider casters on this chair and this one larger casters. That gives you a, a better contact with the ground. They're higher quality, they're less likely to break. Another feature to look out for in a task chair, which is really helpful in setting it up to be properly comfortable for you, is that it self-adjusts for weight. Most chairs have a tension control, meaning when you lean back, the seat back is supportive, but not it, sh it shouldn't be too loose, so the moment you lean back, you nearly fall off the back of the chair, and it equally shouldn't be pushing you forward. It should be set exactly as this one is, so it just supports me and, and you can feel that supporting your back and it's a really comfortable feeling. The way you adjust some chairs, this chair hasn't got any adjustment like that on it at all. Less expensive chairs, but slightly more expensive chairs than this will have a tension control. They're normally found underneath the seat, under there. And you turn it and you turn it and you turn it and it changes the tension on the back. A slightly better, better mechanism than that is there's a knob on the side and you turn that and, it's, and in fact, the fact that it's on the side is already indicative of a better mechanism on the chair than if it was underneath between your legs. But it has the same effect, it changes that tension on your back. The best chairs now, and you don't have to pay very much money for these anymore, is that they self-adjust to weight. So they've got a mechanism underneath them where they, when you sit on them, they work out how heavy you are and they adjust it automatically. Now that obviously is very good in an office environment where you have different people using the same chair because you don't have this constant changing of tension in order to set chairs up. The less you have to change on a chair, the more intuitive it is, the better, because that way the more comfortable it will be for more people. But certainly a feature to look out on on a modern ergonomic task chair is definitely a self-adjustment for weight. Finally, a good chair will come in a, good chairs are made to order. Less expensive chairs will be mass produced um, often in the Far East. They come over and they're stocked in, in this country. They're often available for 24 hour delivery, which is, which, is a, which is a benefit, but a better chair will be made to order. And one of the benefits of it being made to order is that you can choose your finishes and choose your fabrics. So if you're looking for a, um, something different, or if you're looking to match your company branding, or you're just looking for an aesthetic splash of color within your office building, then being able to specify the fabric colours on these chairs is obviously something that comes with a better quality chair and is a benefit to you as well. The choices of those fabrics are enormous. If there's a colour that you need for your office, chairs can, be, chairs can be made in it. In terms of lead time, decent chairs can come within, usually within three to four weeks. So a small amount of planning ahead is required, but on a, on a project, or for investment in your well-being for the next seven years, it's worth waiting those few weeks rather than going for the instant option. So that's a summary of the difference between an ergonomic chair and a non-ergonomic chair. And I hope that allows you to make a considered decision as to whether it's worth spending a little more money or a little less money. <laughs>